life, you have obstacles that you have to get over, and it's never easy. And I feel like hurdles is one of the sports that is, well, even in the sport that is not easy. You know, you have to always be focused and ensure you execute ten barriers. You know, so sometimes in life you have you have obstacles that come your way, and like you probably have more than one obstacles at a time, and you have to just focus one at a time. And I think I've been doing an excellent job at doing that. You were kind of a debutant at the World Championships. Um, how much of that experience, even though you missed out the final by this much, how much of that did you take from that time into the back half of the season till now? I mean, um, just missed out on hundreds of a second. I mean, um, when coach was talking about it and he was saying everything counts. I mean, in training, we was like missing out on some stuff. I mean, after that, we started just putting some different type of work different type of focus, a different type of maturity after that race. I mean, um, I think from then to now, say probably I've got more mature in the sport. So I think it, it was a good eye opener for me. Kind of like a wake up call, because maybe in terms of stuff in training that yes. maybe it kind of reinforced that point? Yes, definitely, definitely. So more, I'll take the runs more seriously and not play around about it. So I think most of the stuff, I mean, we have been doing is much more differently and much more purpose. Obviously, winning the Commonwealth Games title must have been huge, and obviously getting those um, very competitive season with yourself and Holloway for this 2023 season. What was the most important thing that you knew that you had to get better at? In all aspects, you have to get better in everything, but I think mostly is to keep my nerves down when I'm competing. I mean, I think that's one of the things I think I've got under control now. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a different type of experience and feeling now because I mean, this is like world title. I mean. If you win this, is going to be the fastest person in the world for that year. Mm -hmm. So definitely, it's going to be it's going to be something that we're going to put into play for the next coming years. I know you talked about you know watching Hansel when he when he was winning one of what those medals. Could you remember exactly what that feeling kind of like inspired you, especially how much that helped you in your own personal journey? I mean, at that time, I wasn't focused on the hurdles. I was mostly focused on the 100 meter because, I mean, as I said, I look up to uh, Usain Bolt and what he has been doing, well, what he has did in the past, you know, it's like so far ahead, like, he has done it, like, for so many years, and I mean, what he has done is, like, it's just crazy, you know, when you, when you, when you see his videos, they get so inspired, I mean, I don't even watch hurdles as much as how I watch his races. I mean, that's, that's one of the races I watch every day, 9.5 race. Like, that race is one of the races that I look at before I go to training. Really? You know, because I'm trying to, like, simulate what he has done in the sport, you know, like, get a world record or faster time, so something like that. So I like the race. You know, I love competing, I like running. I like running against persons that, you know, challenge me. You know, so I like challenging persons as well. So as I said, it's a full, uh, combination, I just like the result. You said you were a sprinter. Why did you quit sprinting and add 10 hurdles and 10 meters to your competition? I mean, it's not say I quit sprinting, but it's, it's sort of like you feel out where you're best at. And I think hurdles was my best strong suit, so I think I just developed more into running the hurdles than running sprinting. I mean, I think I could do a good 100 meter, but I think in the hurdles I'm better shot at be the best. Would you be a sub-10 sprinter? I mean, nothing is impossible. I mean, I have a great coach, I have a great support system. I mean, I have great sponsors, which is full, you know, they support me 100%. So, I mean, nothing is impossible. I mean, if I go out there and do it, then, of course, but my main focus will always be in the hurdles. What is, what is, what is it that attracts you to hurdle to what is, what does you bring to be a good hurdler? I mean, I think, in, I think I'll put it in combination with like in life, you have obstacles that you have to get over and it's never easy and I feel like hurdles is one of the sports that is, well, even in the sport that is not easy, you know, you have to always be focused and ensure you execute 10 barriers, you know, so sometimes in life you have, you have obstacles that come your way and like you probably have more than one obstacles at a time and you have to just focus one at a time and I think I've been doing an excellent job at doing that.